you know, you get these funny memes and, you know, some kind of hits you and strike you. I got one meme that said, enjoy your first or enjoy your first 30 day free trial of communism. Now, again, you know, people are, you know, being pretty intimidated into staying at home, not talking to people, not I mean, you can talk to people online not interacting with people, not going out, even out here in California where, you know, we've got wide open mountains out at my place and the ocean and things like that. Uh, they're not letting us, you're, you're not supposed to go on the mountains to hike, even far apart. You're not supposed to go to the ocean. Um, does this type of control scare you in that if the, if the population ever did need to be whipped into shape or whipped into compliance, they would just say, now there's this new virus, COVID-69, and it's the craziest thing ever. Go in your house. Does that scare you? It scares the heck out of me. There's a uh, a fellow in the Congress. Um, he's from, I believe, North Carolina, named uh, Clyburn. He has announced that he uh, Nancy Pelosi just uh, appointed him the Oversight Committee on Trump's handling of the coronavirus crisis, and he says quite openly to answer your question dramatically, and he says it repeatedly. We will use this crisis to reshape America. I guess that means with less constitutional uh, protections than we had a month and a half ago. Now, let's let's stop there just for I don't mean to interrupt you. Let's stop there for one second. This is a guy who promised you twelve hundred dollars in two weeks. Okay, him and everybody else in Congress on both sides offered you $1,200 in two weeks. Go ahead with this Clyburn character. Congressman yeah, Clyburn. $1,200 in exchange for you giving up your rights to assemble, to travel, to engage in interstate commerce, to have equal protection under the law. I mean, the truth is, and I, I hate to say this, but Most of the viewers today have not read the Constitution, and they don't realize what rights have been taken away from them with their consent because they're scared to death of dying from the flu. You have a better chance of getting hit by lightning if you go out in your yard during a storm. You have a much better chance of getting killed in an automobile accident or drinking too much or some sort of accident in your apartment than COVID-19, but in exchange for $1,200 that people don't realize will be gone in a couple of days if they get it, when they get it. And I say if because the money's not going out yet, but corporate America has gotten hundreds of billions of dollars already, but the workers haven't. They're getting the nothing. People. They're getting nothing. Barry, you, a great book, uh, Because You Asked. You're a great author. I love your writing. I love what you do. Uh, In in kind of keeping in line with your book, I'd love for you to go down a couple of more of these things, Did You Know? And if you don't mind, do a lightning round. We're going to run out of time with you here in a little bit. Do a little lightning round of what you know, uh, or, or did you know? And let's talk about when we get to the end. I saw in my production notes we were talking about the $25 million, which is just drop in the bucket, but going to the Kennedy Center. You don't get your 1200 bucks, but that. Let's go, let's go through lightning round on some of your um, uh, did you know that. Okay. So did you know that $500 billion is going to be lent to businesses? I've talked to four or five businesses, small businesses, that are filling out the forms. Get this. They're on the fourth form in a week. It changes every day. Nobody knows when the money's going out and nobody knows exactly how to fill the forms out. And these are, by the way, these these are just small businesses. Small businesses, right. Now I'm going to get to the big ones. Did you know that $25 billion is going to the airlines? Now, they just came off record years. They've laid everybody off. The planes are on the ground. Is that going to trickle down to the workers? I don't know. No, none of it will. And by the way, they're also holding on to our money. Those of us who booked flights, they're holding on to our money on top of that. For at least a year. Delta just said it'll be two years. Yeah. Yep. Five billion dollars to cargo air carriers, uh, which is UPS and FedEx and so on. Both had record years last year. Seventeen billion 
is allocated to companies involved in national security. <laughs> this is great. Nobody knows the companies. Nobody knows what the qualifications are. It's 17 billion. No, nobody else. 454 billion is going to cities and they can do whatever they want with it. Social programs, people, building buildings, giving raises. Really upsets me when right now legislators are getting raises and people have no savings. Absolutely. Hey, hey Barry, we're going to have to leave it there. Uh, really appreciate you joining us. Barry Newsbaum, he's the founder of American Truth Project. Barry, thank you so much for joining us. We'd love to have you back on soon. I'll be happy. Barry, you're awesome. Thanks, dude.